Patriot, Oliver Hart. Thank you for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. So why did you decide to wade into the politics here by signing this letter? Well, I think, like many of my colleagues, uh, I'm very concerned about the possibility of a Trump presidency. I think it would be um, disastrous for the economy as well as for other things, and I, I felt uh, compelled to speak out. What specifically do you think would be disastrous for the economy? Um, I don't think that Mr. Trump has coherent economic policies, um, and I think he has advisors who are not... Uh, competent economists, and um, so um, I just worry about what he would do. I can't help but think back to Brexit when all of the prominent economists and institutions and global elite were, wor were worried and warning against voting for Brexit, and then it happened, and so far the economy and the markets have held up. Well, um, I think uh, it's very early days. I think from a purely economic point of view, Brexit was a, uh, a mistake. Um, I think actually there were, uh, there were different arguments for Brexit having to do with uh, the British wanted, wanting to take back control from Europe. And actually I, have had, some, I had some respect for that argument. But I, I, I think it's, it's way too early uh, to, to uh, judge the, the economic impact of that. Uh, but coming back to the U.S., um, I think uh, Donald Trump, you know, is appealing to to some people who feel left behind um, in economic terms, and I think they they it's it, their position. It, 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 it's quite understandable why they might feel uh, aggrieved. Um, but I think what's wrong is to think that, tr that Mr. Trump is actually going to do anything for them. Not, not, none of his policies make me think that he could actually help or will help the people who've been left behind. One of the points in the letter states that he has misled, misled voters in states like Ohio and Michigan by asserting that the renegotiation of NAFTA or the imposition of tariffs on China would substantially increase employment in manufacturing do you deny the fact that some of these trade deals that have been in existence have hurt american workers and wages um i do not deny that you know trade deals um i think are, in general are good for um the economy as a whole the u.s economy as a whole but there can be winners and there can be losers, uh, uh, and I don't think uh, economists would disagree about that. Uh, actually, I think a lot of the reason that uh, some people have suffered in those states is actually not because of trade deals, it's because of new technology, automation. Uh, I don't know how Donald Trump is going to uh, reverse that. Uh, also, to the extent there are losers, the best thing to do is to stick with the trade deals, but find some way to compensate the losers, as opposed to tearing the deals up. Oliver, the letter does not mention Hillary Clinton. In fact, it just says that it recommends voters choose a different candidate. A separate letter signed by some economists did endorse Clinton. Who is the right candidate? Oh, I think, well, I signed both letters. <laughs> uh, my view is that Hillary Clinton is a, a serious and sensible person who will um, be good for this country. I mean, I, I don't think she's perfect. Uh, I don't agree with all of her policies, but I think she's way better than any of the alternatives. So I, that's why I also signed that letter. Don't you worry at all, though, that as an economist, as part of the global elite, Donald Trump has been so appealing because he's an outsider, he's a disruptor, and he's going against the global order and people like that. Don't you worry that by attaching your name and giving more press to the fact that economists are backing him, in effect, it actually ends up helping him? Well, I, um, you know, you're assuming, I, I mean, this letter may have no impact at all. I don't know. Will it, could it have a negative impact? That would be worrying. Um, but um, sometimes you just have to, I mean, I felt um, that I had to sort of stand up and say uh, that this, this guy is not, is not good for the country. Uh, but, you know, I think he's sufficiently bad that it's important for people who uh, study um, economics and uh, to, to, to actually, you know, stand up and be counted. So I, cer I certainly hope it doesn't actually 
uh, work in his favour. But my, my guess is it probably would, you know, it's more likely not to have any impact at all than to work in his favour. All right. Well, we certainly thank you for joining us on the phone to talk about your signing of that letter. Oliver Hart, Harvard professor, Nobel laureate. He won his Nobel in contract theory negotiations. Carl.